Hello. So we're back Monday. And let's speak about the solar panel controllers. Okay. I think it's a, it's a lot of confusion there with uh, the MTTP uh, controllers, the new ones, yeah, compared with the PWM. So let's understand how they work. Yeah, it's 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 a nice relationship with your resistance, amps, and volts. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the power supply on screen. That's our solar panel. Yeah, so this is our solar panel, and it's a cloudy condition. We have only 10 volts, and we have one amp. We limit. Yeah, because that's how the solar panels are working. They have a limit. They have a current limit. And a voltage limit. Let's say um, a 100 watts panel with 20 volts output uh, voltage on max sun and 5 amps. That's 100, 100 watts. But when it's cloudy, you can have 10 volts and 1 amp. Okay? So this is our solar panel. Yeah? Good. This is our uh, um, charge controller. What happened in my webcam? This is our charge controller, PWM one. Yeah, actually this is a booster. But that's not the idea, it's doing exactly the same thing. Ignore this, ignore this is just a screen, and the screen will go off when we are uh, connecting the load. Yeah, this is the load, this is our battery. Yeah, it's a load. Doesn't matter if your load is a battery or a light bulb. Okay, so, or a resistor like on my case, it's just a load. So what will happen with a solar panel when you connect uh, a load? Let's say in a condition you don't have uh, enough energy, like now we have like 10 volts and 1 amp. So I'm connecting the load, yeah, that's my load. So what happened? <clears throat> exactly check there the voltage drop because that's the relationship between uh, um, amps and uh, voltage you don't have enough ma amps the voltage will drop so you see we have one amp because that's what the, our panel can give us right now on this uh, cloudy situation and the voltage 3.8 okay so you see, this is a normal controller, and not a, 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 it's not a smart one. It's just uh, working with best effort, okay? So he's taking how much he can from the solar panel, and uh, and yeah, now we can calculate the efficiency, okay? Efficiency, uh, we can't calculate efficiency. Because we can't see the output. Right? Yeah. So what efficiency way are we are checking? Because I should check what I have on the output. We need one more multimeter. No, I need one more. I need this on the output. So this should be on the output, not on the input, because on the input we have the power supply, so I can read from the power supply. Okay, let's put the problem on a different way. <clears throat> we have 1 amp and 3.8 volts, which means... which means so we cannot calculate the efficiency uh, but we can calculate let me grab my uh, where is my phone so we have 3.8 watts okay we have 3.8 watts right now yeah 1 times 3.8 is 3.8 so 3.8 watts. So what the what my controller is taking out? 3.8 watts. It's one amp, 3.8 volts. 
yeah so if this will work it will show me 3.8 watts okay with 3.8 watts it's I can't say it's efficient we can get more out from this solar panel yeah so 3.8 is not enough that's why the tracking the new controller comes out okay so keep in mind right now the power is 3.8 watts it's amps or voltage and you get the power in watts okay good now now let's try with a smart tracking okay smart tracking meaning you can see on this one I can't change anything it's it's working on the best effort so it's taking how much he can okay 3.8 watts now let me disconnect this let me disconnect this so I have the ground and the plus okay and let's connect this is our smart uh, mttp controller this is a smart one and we have uh, it's not important what we have here but i just want to understand what this is doing what a MTTP controller is doing, searching for the best efficient uh, efficiency. Because people are still buying the old ones because they are cheap, obviously. But cheap means not, uh, not really so much efficient. So what do we have here? Let's uh, first, let's go back to that situation, 3.4 watts, yeah? Let's simulate this, let's simulate this, okay? So was, uh, uh, one amp, Six point three. Ah, and that one will goes off, but that's not important. That's not important. Five point four volts. Check on the power supply on the screen. Yeah, go on the screen. Go on the screen. So it's nearly like there. Yeah, you can see. But we have four volts. We have three point eight. Yeah, three point nine. You see, this is equivalent with this one. And now my load is drawing down 3.8 uh, watts, yeah? 3.8. One amp, and okay. This is our MTTP controller, and this is smart. And he is checking for the best output. Yeah? Best output. Okay? Best output. What the best output means? What about that's how how it's working? What about now? What's what's our output now? What's our output now? Our output now? Oh, eight point two watts. So you see, it's nearly double. That's how 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 this works. We still have one amp because that's the limit, but he's changing the input resistance. Okay. And is che is checking up and down till he get the best output. Look at the output. You see, nine point three. We can go up. You see, it's, it's, it, you see now now he's going on the other side. So it's a very precise point where actually where where uh, where uh, he is efficient. 
10 watts. I go 10 watts. No, I can't make it 10? No, probably not. So you see, the point is very precise. Yeah? If the resistance is too high, on the other side, check. Even Now the amps are going down. So the power is going down and the amps are going down. The 0 0.8 amps and the power is going down. Okay? What happened with the voltage? It's rising. Yeah, because that's how they work. If I if I go down to find the best spot to take the power out, you can see 8.79 watts. I can make it 10. 9.5 or oh no? Sorry. 9.8 watts. 9.9. .9, that's the best. You see, we found the best spot, and in this moment we are taking a lot of energy from our solar panel. Yeah from our solar panel we are taking 9.8 watts so that's the catch with the tracking the controllers that's why they are the best because they can track the point where is the best output you, you know you have a curve on the solar panel okay and max voltage doesn't mean max current on the on a solar panel okay here yeah it is you see look i have 10 volts max voltage one amp no, the solar panel is not like that, yeah? You have max voltage, you have no amps there. So actually the amps are a little bit uh, on the other side. If it will be to calculate, it will be like, okay, what do we have there? 10 volt max voltage, okay, there is no amps. So the controller goes down till the point you will find uh, the max uh, efficiency. Okay? So that's how they work. And they are changing the input resistance. Actually, when you, when you, when you think it's changing the input resistance of the of the inverter, yeah, of the controller, of the charger, charging controller, actually, is uh, is changing the output uh, uh, current, yeah, lowering the output current. What is happening? The voltage is going up on the input, yeah. The resistance is going up okay resistance is going up voltage is going up okay but the problem is they are more efficient on some point and that's what they are they are checking it's, they are checking for the best uh, output okay that's how they work it's simple it's not very complicated but you have to understand the relationship between current amps volts and resistance because that's what it's all about okay so hopefully you understand how they work and why if you want to have this uh, system the best is to buy an M mttp controller with tracking yeah because they will track for the best output and they will track on the same way how i show you here so i can take more energy by tracking exactly that point where uh, is the max efficiency okay let me know in the comments if you don't understand something but I'm, I'm sure you you did understand and we are going forward with our project our solar project and I ordered uh, like I, I, I told you I ordered like four or five um, MTTP controllers and we are going to benchmark them yeah we are going to see what they they can do because all are different the efficiency is different and we have to find the best one when we found the best one we keep that one and we go uh, we move forward okay so uh thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one Next one will be nice. The next one will be with the controllers. Yeah. Bye.